a very successful businesswoman now. So your path was very unusual. So how did this all start? Well, you know, I grew up in a world where women are less than, right? Hmm. I think the easiest way to explain it is that from the time a child is old enough to speak until the day that they die, if you are a male, if you're a boy, as you become a man, your entire life, you say when you wake up in the morning, you say, thank you, God, for giving me life. And then you say, thank you, God, for not making me a woman. What? Thank you, God, for not making me a woman. Like, literally, they say Every that, like, day, from the day they're old enough to speak, you see your son saying it, you watch your husband say it. How that it, must impact you as a woman in that community. Wow, that's tough. Um, and uh, wow, and you said your daughter changed your life, right? My daughter, Miriam, is the reason I'm alive. I mean, that's just the fact. You said your daughter changed your life as well. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. She was born. I had to change me. Yeah. To, to fit my daughter. So, well, speaking back of your daughter, was there one moment that yes. kind of stuck out? And I want her to be like, y'all. <laughs> oh. She's watching y'all. Oh. She's watching you. And she's we, watching y'all. I know, and we also want you to be whoever you are deep in there. That's the that's, Yeah, thing. that's, be, yep. be whoever you want to be. So what my daughter, daughter is the, yeah. really the, the beginning of my story and the person who helped me leave because it was an eight year trajectory. And it started when, Miriam was five years old. I have a daughter named Miriam. She was asking, well, I would like to play ball. I want to I wanted play basketball. I want to do this. I want to learn how to sing, and I want to play the guitar. And she was constantly said, no, you can't dance in public because a man might see you and have bad thoughts. You can't sing in public because a man might see you and have bad thoughts. And my little five-year-old turned to my husband, and she would say, but why isn't that his responsibility? My five-year-old. Out of the mouth of babies. And yeah. then for the first time, she gave me permission. Because my entire life, I thought I was bad, that it wasn't OK for me. But you couldn't convince me that my five-year-old was bad. And yeah. she was saying, this doesn't make sense. Why can't men control themselves? And by the way, thank you. Why can't men yeah. control themselves? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. And by the way, they can. And they like, yeah, can. Yes, and they, they can. can. They can. And so that was when I started educating myself. It took me eight years before I walked out the door. If I had stayed, she would have been married off at 18 or 19 like everyone else. Yeah. She certainly wouldn't be in college. She certainly wouldn't be a tech genius. Well, she and changed she your life and you changed hers. That's it. Yeah. I mean, we literally amazing. saved each other. And, yeah. you know. Wow. Okay, so what's your favorite thing to do um, now that, you know, now that you would have been forbidden to do something before? Like, what's your favorite thing to do? Dance. Oh! I love to dance. I do love to dance. I love dancing. Yeah, I love dancing. Yes. And so, yeah. to be able to actually move, to just let go and dance is oh. something I really love. I love that!